Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. Thanks for tuning in again on Raw Statue Reviews. So if you ask yourself, who the heck is that guy here? You're in good company, because I wouldn't have known as well if I didn't play Arkham City and Arkham Knight that this guy here is someone from the Batman universe. He looks more like one of these random Templars that you see in the early Assassin's Creed games, for example. Um, but no, this is not Assassin's Creed, guys. This is Batman Arkham Knight, and this guy here is Azrael, also known as Michael Lane, a police officer that who took part in a program to become the ultimate crime fighter, but that somehow went south, and then he had to be stopped by Batman because he somehow became a villain and um, after his capture he joined the order of Saint Dumas and then became Ezrael in this kind of armor and the sword and is fighting crime now and wants to step into the um, the feet here of Batman um, and that's the story here in Arkham Knight that he wants to be his successor when Batman retires. Um, so in the game you um, encounter this guy in different occasions, you have to fight against him and then um, there's kind of a twist there where you can choose whether um, he becomes a villain or a good guy. So it's a pretty nice story. Um, the character itself looks awesome, and so does his statue form here. It's full of detail, um, which I will show you in a second. Not a very known character, and um, well, I admit that he looks um, kind of like a yeah, like a Templar, more or less. So could be anything, but if you know that this guy is Ezreal from the Arkham Knight game, then of course um, all makes sense one of a sudden. So he fits very well into the line of either good guys or villains. Um, you can decide to which side you want to count him. And it's crazy that Prime 1 chose to even release this really quite unknown character in the line of statues here. So what really strikes me is that we've got an Astroel and we didn't get a Riddler and a Penguin. I mean that is just insane. So Prime One, please listen to me. We need a Riddler and we need a Penguin in the Arkham Knight, Arkham City, Arkham Origins line. So please do us a favor and release those figures. And if you are on it, already then please also give us a Rasha Ghoul. So he would look so good in the Arkham style with these um, black and yellows. Um, so let's see whether we get to those figures still. Doesn't seem like it at the moment but you never know. So let's start off with the review of this guy here. Um, we start off with the base. <clears throat> Very typical as you can see here Arkham Knight base with these two heads in front. And then this kind of little bit of triangular base. Very compact, very nice to display. Um, these pipes here in the back, Batman logo. It's a bit lighter in color than a lot of the other bases. Um, a little bit like Robins. So, don't know why they used different colors for the bases. Um, probably they used different fabrics and didn't know exactly what colors they have used on other bases, whatever looks pretty cool. So this one has a kind of a bullet hole in there, which is I think not present in the other ones. Um, at least it's more visible here. And then I've got the two really nice knight helmets here with the swords placed through them in the back. Pretty cool. Um, very nice details to them. And this bronze gold color cross here in front um, so that looks really 
cool. Fits, of course, the statue phenomenally. But moving up the figure, he is full of details and full of nice colors. These reds really pop. Um, so let's start off with the legs here. You can see that he has these really nice armoring here on the shins and on the knee. Very worn, very battle damaged. You can see that this is in use really for fighting crime. And then he has these bandages which are soaked in, in blood as it seems. Um, looks pretty fierce. Um, pretty intimidating. Same here on the boots. So some bandages there. Boots look good. Um, nicely reinforced over there. Um, otherwise, nice leather boots with a lot of red highlights there. Um, bandages are really well done. Looking really dirty and, as I said, soaked in, in blood. Pretty crazy. Um, Then moving up here, we've got these pants, which are basically black, looking good with all the wrinkles. And then these straps here and buckles to hold them um, in place, and also the, the knee pads and all that stuff. Um, that's looking really, really good. Same on this here. Stitching is nice. Um, very well done. And then he's holding his sword here in his both hands. More bandages here on the hand. More blood there. And then the sword looks really cool with these little blades here on the sides. Um, cool coloring to it. Really well done. So I can focus a little bit more there. And um, pretty rusty looking. Love the reds in there. Um, it's unfortunately plastic, so it's not metal. So that would have been super nice if it had been metal. But anyway, um, it looks awesome and you do not notice it that it's a plastic piece. You can see that he has some kind of strap on the sword as well. It's a bit strange. Don't know for what he needs that, but anyway. And then this loincloth, um, also somehow bloody and with the nice um, design here of this chain mail thing here, looking really good. And then moving up the arms, nice details to them as well, love these blades here on the arm guards um, looking really good the gloves look super well nice as well the knob of the sword is also good fine um it was unfortunately broken here when it arrived but you do not really notice it so it's a very clean break here on one of the blades so um easy with that it's an easy fix and then you've got the crossy on the upper armoring and you I love the detail here you see how battle damaged and worn this kind of cloth here over the um, this chain armor here looks um, and it just looks so good how these fabric leather parts are mm. placed over the the chain armor it looks really really nice so much detail to it um, buckles look super good. Love the red crossy with the stitching and how this is ripped apart here the shirt. It's phenomenal. And then the detail here on the um, armor here of the upper arm and then also the shoulder pads. Looks really amazing and this is already part of the um, very particular cape here which consists of different parts so one in the middle then these two here placed over the inner shoulders and this one here and the other one here placed over the other shoulder forming this whole cape which looks really good that is some kind of plastic resin 
little bit pliable so that it doesn't break. And um, yeah, so that looks really, really cool. Let's sketch another 360 here before we go to the head sculpt. So this figure looks just badass how he stands there. Um, super fierce and confident. Very, very nice. Love the colors, as I said. This cape just looks awesome. I'll show you a little bit of detail here of the cape. You see that it has some battle damage here and there. Nice leathery look to it. A um, bit more um, yeah, dusted here or, or mudded down there. Colored black and then moving up it's more red. But you've got these little reinforcements here and there in the cape. Really cool. And then the detail here also on the, on the hood, which is a plastic piece. That's not polystone. Um, that looks phenomenal. Super detailed. And then this kind of arrow-like or cross-like um, structure here that looks like leather which then goes over his face as well which is so cool this face mask is crazy so you can see that this guy is black um, and um, yeah so he's wearing this, this crazy full um, yeah, kind of a metal face mask which makes him really intimidating um, yeah so overall a really really nicely looking statue in my view um, so if you are a hardcore Arkham Knight fan this is definitely something for you if you like Templars and Knights and you want a statue from a Templar, then this is also something for you, because you could definitely use him as a random kind of Templar guy, um, not knowing who he is. So this was limited to 500 pieces, no exclusive on this one, no switch outs, no nothing, just this pure awesome statue here. And um, I hope I could show you all the details here of this guy. I hope you liked what you have seen. If you did, then please give it a like. Um, please comment down below in the comment section. And of course, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified for any new content being uploaded here pretty soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.